interested in co-living here in Colorado Springs, that would be some type of rent by the room strategy where you get a single family home or even multi-family property and you rent it out by the room. We are gonna talk about that today and we're actually gonna do a walkthrough on this awesome property back here that is on the east side of Colorado Springs, which tends to be where most of the properties work best for rent by the room, unless you're near UCCS. But the main reason for that is because you're near a lot of the military bases. So for this one first, we are gonna look at the parking in this area. So we have some good parking right there on the street parking here and then of course three garages which is good where you can rent the property space out as well as three spaces for parking right here and then parking there and parking there so plenty of parking on this property and parking is one of the first things you have to look at because some properties would be great on the inside but when you're like okay we have you know six seven people that are living here where are they all going to park because they all are going to have their own cars their own bedrooms it'll make things really complicated. So now we're gonna go check out the inside of this property. We're gonna tour the main level and then we're gonna meet Miller, who is a client and good friend of mine. And he's gonna show us what he's planning to do in the basement that will make this property super good for co-living. Okay, now we're on the inside of this property. It is five bedrooms and three bathrooms here on the east side of Colorado Springs. This is the kitchen right now. There's not much rehab that's gonna be done, but the flooring does look great up here as well and it flows really well directly into the living room and there's some nice you know we got the granite going on in here i would probably add some knobs to the kitchen but that's my own personal preference we'll see what miller ends up doing nice living space and then we have the basement where we'll go talk with miller and then now we're going to check out the hallway where we have three bedrooms and two bathrooms in here this is a smaller room, but it can still be rented out. It will probably be for around $600 to $800 is what most of these bedrooms will be going for. The smaller ones will probably be around $600, but you can always add in things like parking in the garage, checking the storage space in order to get more value and increased rent for the property. This is the bathroom. Then we'll go over here and check out the primary suite which will be probably around $850 since you have your own bathroom, walk-in closet, shower, all right now we're going to go to the basement and we're going to talk with Miller who I call him the co-living king because he has like six properties now that he does co-living on and he also has investors that he partners with. So if you want to get started in co-living, you can always talk with Miller as well and see how you can partner with him to get started in real estate here in Colorado Springs. All right, this is Miller and he's gonna show us what his plans are for the basement area on his next property. Yeah, right, so you guys probably already saw, but there's three bedrooms upstairs. And when you're using this co-living strategy, um, the numbers usually start to work around six plus rooms. So ideally, you know, you know of course run, run detailed numbers, but when you get to six, seven, eight is when things really start to uh, you know kick off as far as cash flow goes. So I guess first we can just show what's already existing down here. So there's already two bedrooms, right? So that brings us up to a total of five. So getting pretty close to where you know we can start cash flowing. Um, of course, depends on the purchase price of the property and everything like that. But the first thing that we're going to do is right now this is advertised as an office, and really all this thing needs to be a bedroom is a door in the hallway and we need to add a closet as well. So kind of what we're thinking right now is there's a cavity behind this wall that's like 30 inches deep. So essentially this wall can kind of be turned into a closet um, without you know a whole lot of work. And then that's one thing that we could do. And then we could add the door here. Otherwise, we even thought we could put the door here and then there's a whole cavity right here underneath the stairs that could turn into a closet as well. So that's actually kind of our preferred route. So instantly that adds one bedroom, um, bedrooms rent for like $800 a month. So that's like an extra 10 grand a year that you can make just by putting a door up. But we do have more plans for this place as well. So over here, we already do have one bathroom. So this would be a bathroom for, you know, the rooms down here that, uh, you know, if they don't have their own bathroom, which all these rooms do not. Then the laundry room is down here as well. And so now we do have all of this space though that we have to play with. So. Whenever we set up our properties, we always want to keep one living room, um, you know, a dining area, bathroom area, um, and laundry. So there's already a living room upstairs, so we don't need this to be a second living space. So what we're thinking is 
basically we can add a room over to this side here. There's already a window, so that's not really an issue. We can essentially throw a couple walls up here. Um, window's good to go. We'll put a closet over in this area. And then same idea for this side. We can essentially throw you know, a couple of walls up, send it down this way, have a closet back in this corner. It already has a window. Um, they already have HVAC coming into the rooms and we'll just break out that, that bar down there, which doesn't have any water. It's just a dry bar, so pretty easy to knock out. So super high level, this place will be eight bedrooms. Um, it'll cash flow like 22 grand a year. And uh, yeah, we're excited to get started on it. Okay, we're out here in the backyard now. There's nothing too crazy to check out back here, but we do like that it has, you know, good space. There's a nice deck. People can come out here to explore and be in the backyard just to have a good time when they are living in the area. Wraps all the way around to the side. And there is an air conditioning unit over here as well. One very unique thing is that they covered what we are going to be putting a bedroom down in that window well down there. You can kind of see it very briefly right up there. But if there was a fire down there and someone needed to escape, they wouldn't be able to escape because the deck is down here. So what we're gonna do is make a cutout and it has some type of latch that it can be opened up or just a different type of grate so that someone can safely get out of the property. Thanks for watching guys. If you are interested in co-living, make sure you contact me or Miller if you have any questions on how to get started or if you want to partner with Miller or even what other markets would be good for co-living like Colorado Springs or Atlanta is another property that Miller is looking into as well. There's several of them out there, but Colorado Springs is what we have found to be the best one so far. And we do also have a real estate meetup where a ton of other investors here in Colorado Springs come to. So if you want to come and check that out, that'd be awesome. And we'll see you there.